All right, guys, what's up? Ken with Illinois Rides, and we are working on a friend's go-kart. Um, he's putting a 212 on it, and they thought they were going to have to get a new base plate to mount on it, which is right here. They ordered it from Go Power Sports. But I know a little bit about a little bit of something, and I showed them how all we need to do is tighten those set screws and then put the 5 16 by 24 inch bolt in here to hold it in place so they don't need that adjustable plate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help them out, save busted knuckles, we're gonna swap this around a little bit, and then we're gonna bolt it down to the plate that was on it. We'll get this tire fixed and put it on the right way. And we got the other tire down there. Watching a little bit of YouTube while we're doing it. I'm sure you guys know who that is. I was going to try to do another live feed, but we can't get connected to the Wi-Fi. So that's what we're doing tonight. Sam, I know you're going to end up watching this. I promise I'm ordering parts for my go-karts, and I'm going to fix them here shortly after the first of the year. So let's go ahead and get some stuff adjusted on here, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys. So what we're doing, instead of using, like, 57 bazillion washers... We've got this sleeve that's gonna fit over just like that. But we measured it with the washers. So we're gonna mark it and then we're gonna cut this to fit. Some people. All right, so while he sets the set screws on that, we got to get the bolt tomorrow because I don't have one long enough for it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix this. So when he goes to pull start it, as y'all know, he don't bust open his knuckles. All right, guys, so that's on. Now when he goes to pull it, it ain't going to bust him all over the place. Now we have to take this section of chain out to cut it down to length. So that's what we're gonna work on now. We attempted to use a chain breaker and immediately broke it. So we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Horrible place for those. guys so our chain breaker broke we can't get this to hold still enough to, to actually punch that chain out so we're gonna buy a legitimate chain breaker next day or two but we took this tire off from this side busted a knuckle and then the beads with this tire kit we I wish I would have had this when I did it to my tires but anyhow that's fixed, we just gotta put some air in it. So, new tires on, be just seated. Had to use the ratchet strap method, but it worked. All right guys, so we got everything done tonight except for setting that set screw and putting that bolt inside the clutch to hold it in. 
and it's ready to go. Right now, we're gonna watch Red Beer's Garage, and we're gonna watch a 212 Stage 4 kit build, so you can put it on this buggy. In between that, and then a 420. So, drop down in the comments, right down there, which one you think we should go with, built 212 or 420. All right, guys, hit that like button. Leave me some comments down below. Share the video. Smash that subscription button.